the lower part of the back ideally should be reasonably flat. So if I took my golf club here and placed it along my tailbone to the midpoint of my back, I'm really just looking to flatten that out. Uh, that allows me to kind of engage, draw the abs in and engage them. And so in this position, I'm very neutral. My lower part of my back would have the most amount of freedom to move. And with regards to the upper body, we're actually looking for just a very slight hang of the arms away from the shoulders, slightly protracted versus retracted with the chin tucked down slightly towards a golf ball. So in this position, I feel the most athletic, my core's engaged, I have good arm hang and my head's hang naturally from my shoulders and I'm ready to move freely. Okay, as it relates to balance points, probably the two biggest faults I see are golfers that get 